Hi, Jeff here with Halo Inc. Today we're gonna to talk about how we set up a double-sided banner file within FlexiPrint. Um, <clears throat> what we wanna make sure of when we're printing double-sided is that we are aligned on both sides. That's in the, the length and in the width, okay? So for the length, we came up with a solution that we make our artboards the same for both sides. That way our setup, as we talked about in a different video, is always at the front edge of the plate and heater. But when it comes to figuring out the width of it, the left and right, centering it becomes a little bit trickier. And the reason being is that our printers naturally put on about a quarter of an inch gutter on the right hand side as it's printing. That's the area that the printer won't start printing immediately on the beginning of the material. It actually starts in about a quarter of an inch. And as a result, if we were simply to center this within the software, the front one side of it would be a quarter inch shifted to the left. When we flipped that panel over, that side would be shifted a quarter inch to the left, which overall, if you think about that, would make the two pieces a half an inch off. And that's not gonna work very well for our trimming, right? So what we wanna do, step one, is we wanna measure our material. Today we're working with 18 ounce, 38 inch material. So we're gonna come back here, we're just gonna verify what our overall width is. Our overall width, as you can see here, is 38, approximately 38.125, 38 and an eighth of an inch, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit of calculation here. <clears throat> if we go into our art file itself, we'll see that our art file is at 32 inches wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our 38.125, that's the width of our material. I'm going to subtract the width of our art file, 32 inches. That gives us a 6.125. Now we know that our machine kicks over approximately 0.25 inches, okay? So we could say 0 0.2, 0 0.25, but as a standard, we just say it's 0.25 inches. So we're gonna subtract 0.25 from that number. That's gonna give us 5.875. That's the excess material we are gonna have for the left and the right side. How it doesn't matter where we print that if we printed it flush right we'd have that material all the way to the left If we printed it flush left, we'd have that much material all the way to the right, but we want to center it So we're going to divide this by two It's going to give us 2.9375 and as we come back over to our file We're going to set our position here at 2.9375 We're going to set our position here at zero we're going to make our material width at 38.125. And now it may look a little tiny bit off as you look at it on the screen, but as we discussed earlier, the printer itself doesn't start printing until it gets that quarter inch in, and that's the shift that we've adjusted for. So as we print this now, it should come out exactly how we want it, centered on the box, so thank you.